Sexual reproduction is a vital process in flowering plants that ensures the continuation of species, introduces genetic variation, and aids evolution. In this chapter, Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants we will explore how angiosperms, or flowering plants, reproduce sexually, from the formation of reproductive organs to the development of fruits and seeds. Structure of flower. The flower is a modified shoot that functions as the reproductive unit in angiosperms. The reproductive structure consists of four whorls. 1. Calyx, sepals, protect the developing flower bud. 2. Corolla, petals, often colored to attract pollinators. 3. Andresium, the male reproductive part, consisting of stamens. 4. Dynetium, the female reproductive part, consisting of couples. Stamen, male reproductive organ. Each stamen has two parts, first anther, bilobed, produces pollen grains. Second filament, stalk that supports the anther. The anther contains pollen sacs with microsporangia, which produce pollen through microsporogenesis. Microsporogenesis and development of male gametophyte, inside the anther, pollen mother cells, PMCs, or microsporocytes undergo meiosis to form microspores, arranged in tetrads. Each microspore develops into a pollen grain, the male gametophyte. Structure of pollen grain, exine, tough outer layer, made of sporopholenin, intine, inner layer, made of cellulose and pectin. Has two nuclei in mature stage, vegetative nucleus, larger, metabolic functions, generative nucleus, divides to form two male gametes. Megasporogenesis, in the ovule, a megaspore mother cell, MMC, undergoes meiosis to form four megaspores. One surviving megaspore undergoes three mitotic divisions, where eight nuclei arranged as, three antipodal cells, chalazal end, two synergids plus one egg cell, micropyla end, two polar nuclei in the center, fuse to form a diploid secondary nucleus. Pollination, pollination is the transfer of pollen from anther to stigma. There are three types of pollination. 1. Autogamy, pollen from the anther of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the same flower. 2. Dytonogamy, pollen from one flower on a plant is transferred to the stigma of another flower on the same plant. 3. Xenogamy, transfer of pollen from the anther of one plant to the stigma of a different plant. 4. Fertilization, in the phenomena, one female gamete unites with two male gametes. One of the male gametes fertilizes the egg resulting in the formation of a zygote and the other unites with two polar nuclei for the formation of an endosperm. One male gamete plus egg equals zygote, syngamy, other male gamete plus two polar nuclei equals triploid endosperm nucleus, triple fusion, thus, double fertilization equals syngamy plus triple fusion, triploid nucleus divides to form endosperm, which provides nourishment. Conclusion Sexual reproduction in flowering plants is a complex yet beautifully coordinated process involving structures, cell divisions, fertilization, and post-fertilization development. Understanding this chapter helps us appreciate plant diversity, breeding, and seed formation, vital for agriculture and food security. Thank you for watching. If you found this 3D explanation helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Science Animations for more visually engaging and concept-clearing content. Keep exploring, stay curious, and let's make science come alive.